Hi guys! So I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I mentioned in one of my very recent videos that I was testing out this new makeup line called Vincent Longo and I continued to sort of test it out and see how I liked it and I've decided I like it. <laughs> so um, I used the eyeshadow and some blush and the lipstick and stuff from that line and then this is the look that I created. I love purples. It's, it's not really a secret. I've already done a purple makeup tutorial recently, which I'll link below or something, but I like purple stuff. I like purple lips. I don't care if it's fall or not. I like purple. And so I'm going to show you how to get this look. Oh, and of course, I'll have a coupon code in the bottom bar if you're interested in picking up some of the stuff that I'm using. Enjoy! Just to save some time, I already have my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows on. And I went in with Foxy from the Naked Basics palette just to sort of give myself a little all over color because I have super veiny eyelids and I don't like for the veins to kind of pop out and look crazy all in your face. You could of course just use an eyeshadow primer which I did have a primer on but it didn't really do the job this time. <laughs> And then I went in with the Vincent Longo Destiny Rose Pearl Eyeshadow. It's so, so pretty. The color is just shimmery and gorgeous, but it doesn't like fall all over your face. It's just so pretty. I'm in love with it. Um, after packing on the color for a little bit, I realized that it just wasn't quite as like vibrant as I wanted it to be. So I sprayed my brush with some uh, some setting spray. I think I used the Mary Kay one, but obviously you can use whichever one that you have on hand. And then I took a Hollywood from the California Collection BH Cosmetics little mini palette, and I took that into my crease, and I kind of just packed it on until I decided that it looked fabulous enough. And you guys were hating so hard on my last makeup tutorial telling me I'm not blending enough, but I blend as much as I want to blend. I blend until my heart is content. And if that's not enough blending for you, honey, then blend some more. I am not stunting your blending game. You blend as much as you want to blend, babe. You, you do it. It's your eyelid. You make the rules, not me. Anyway blend <laughs> and then I took Venus from the Naked Basics palette and I took that underneath my uh, brows and into the inner corners of my eyes because it's my favorite little highlighting shade ever I wonder if they sell it solo probably right I don't know and then I used my trusty Maybelline Lime Stiletto and I did a quick little cat eye and then the 24-7 eye pencil from Urban Decay in the color Ransom. I used that one for my waterline. I just wanted some purple down there. Not too crazy, but I really like this color and I hadn't used it in a while, so I was like, yes, yes, yes. After that, I took that uh, Hollywood color from that BH Cosmetics palette and I used a little angled brush to apply it over the eyeliner just to make sure it didn't go anywhere and to sort of smudge it out a little bit. And then I used a black scandalized uh, coal liner by Rimmel and I hit up the waterline and I also set my waterline with the color Crave from the Naked Basics palette. It's just a black eyeshadow. Um, I forgot to film it though, my bad. And while my lashes were drying after I put the glue on, I hit up my uh, actual real lashes with the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and I was using the 105 Ardells for this look. I love these lashes. In fact, I love all lashes. Lashes are my BFF. And once you start wearing lashes, you can't stop. It's a problem. Oh, and then I took the Dream Lumi in the color Radiant and I highlighted my face, my uh, cheeks, my nose, my upper lip, and my forehead. And then I took Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I put it all over my under eyes. And then I usually put the excess around my nose because it tends to get really, really red. I don't know what's up with that. Kind of not awesome. And then I took a damp beauty blender and I blended everything out. Beauty blenders are life. They're amazing, they really are. I don't know the difference between like the black one and the pink one, but the black one looks really cool, so I'm thinking about ordering it. If you know the difference, holler at your girl. Impart some knowledge on me, please. And then I used the Stay Matte uh, Press Powder by 
Rimmel and I went over just where I had my concealer and my highlight. Then I went in with Rimmel's Natural Bronzer in the color Sunlight and I did the hollows of my cheeks and my jawline, a little bit on my chin and on my forehead. And then the Beast de Resistance, the Misty Blossom Dewdrop Radiant Blush by Vincent Longo. Oh my goodness, it was so pretty. It's so pretty inside of the packaging. I didn't even want to touch it, but thankfully after you do touch it a little bit, it still looks super pretty. <laughs> and then I just blended it all out. Then I went in for another coat of mascara and this time I used uh, L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black and I hit up the bottom lashes and blended the top and falsies. And then I used the Mary Kay setting spray to put everything in place. And then this beautiful little puppy went onto my lips. It's the color Vanguard and it's a silk velour lipstick by Vincent Longo and it is just so pretty. It's just the nicest berry color. I'm in love with it. And just to soften it up a little bit and give it a little bit of shine, I covered it with Max Viva Glam Nikki 2 Lip Glass. And then we were done. That's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials by giving me a big old thumbs up or just let me know in the comments. I hope that you guys are having a splendid day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.